guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is a day in the life. So I haven't done a day in the life for ages. My days do always change, but I thought I would try and show you roughly what I get up to on a day when I'm just at home doing the yard and doing some admin. So you saw me get up quite early, 6.15 every day the alarm goes. Now I am a little bit later coming out this morning because I've had a few little admin tasks to get done in the house, but I am now walking down to my livery yard. So I've got two yards, I've got my liveries at one yard and then my horses and one livery at the other yard. So I'm coming down to the liveries. I'm gonna feed them, muck them out. Normally they would get turned out, but it's really, really cold at the minute. It's like minus six. So all the fields are frozen. So they are staying at the minute, but let's get going and go and feed them. Speaking of feeding, I want to thank the wonderful sponsors of this video, HelloFresh. So Scott and I have been using HelloFresh for well over a year and a half now, and we just absolutely love it, as you can see from all of our recipe cards. It fits into our busy lives so well. It is so easy to order on the website or on the app, so you can choose your recipes on the go, which is a big bonus for me. They have so many different recipes to choose from, and they break them down into categories to make it easier such as rapid meals, family friendly meals, street food, premium meals and so many more. My go-to are the rapid meals as we are so busy and it makes life so easy knowing you can cook a delicious meal so quickly. We have had meals from all of the different categories which we absolutely love as we get to try meals that we never would have cooked before because if I'm being honest Scott and I are no chefs. However, since using HelloFresh, our cooking skills have improved massively and we enjoy cooking a lot more now. HelloFresh is so convenient and makes life so easy with no stress as it is delivered straight to your door, so no supermarket trips. And I don't know about you, but I hate going to the supermarket. Today, I've chosen this lovely roasted sweet potato and kidney bean chili, which was just so delicious and exactly what we needed on this cold night. So if you're like me and are so busy and want delicious food to cook without having to go to the supermarket or thinking about what you might have in the fridge and what you might be able to make, then head over to the HelloFresh website using the link below or scan the QR code on the screen and use my discount code AHARRISONE60 to get you 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months. are happily in their stables because it is so cold and too frozen for them to go out. They've all been mucked out, they're nice, happy and warm and they've all got plenty of hay. So that's the first yard of the morning done, now on to the next. Okay guys, so I am now heading up to the other yard, which is literally one mile down the road, so we can hack between the two yards. It's literally not very far. Uh, so I'm gonna go and head there, feed my horses and sort them out. As I was a little bit later starting this morning, I've mucked out, given them all hay, uh, but I haven't blown the yard or made the feeds. I will do that later, but just because I did some admin stuff and I was having to get a vlog ready to upload, um, so I was just late coming out and don't want to leave my horses waiting for too long. So I'm going to head there now and we can go and see my horses. Some breakfast. Shall we get you some breakfast? Hey Zeb, 
Breakfast time? Is it breakfast time? Just give me carrots or breakfast. I don't want to cuddle. Oh, hello. Hello. Should we get you breakfast? Should we get you breakfast? Come on in. Hey, Maxie, we've got yours. Let's open your door. Here we go. Good boy. Good one. Potato. Mountains of hay in there, there we go. Yes. Come on. Okay, so once we've fed my three horses, I'm now gonna go and grab Errol and Squirrel in because they live out overnight. And then Errol comes in for the day and Squirrel is one of my liveries that lives here. He comes in for a bit, he gets tied up because he doesn't like going in a stable. And then whenever I'm not here, he goes back out in the field. So I'm gonna go and grab them in. And I've put the kettle on because if I'm just doing the yard and I'm not getting on with riding straight away, make myself a cup of tea and then I can get mucking out. Good morning, boys. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, boys. Are you ready to come in for a little bit? You've still got plenty of hay. You've got a hay net there and you've got hay in the feeder. Hey, how are we? Are we a little bit cold? I've got lots of rugs on you though, haven't I? How are you this morning? Hey? Let's get you in, shall we? Okay, so I've got my cup of tea. Horses have eaten their breakfast. Errol and Squirrel have come in. They only get fed once a day, so they have dinner later on. They are going to stay in, I think, today because it was minus six last night, so it's literally everywhere. It's just frozen, um, and I don't want to risk injury. So we're now going to give them some hay. Uh, so they're happy, and then I'm going to start mucking out. done all the horses are happily in their stables for now but now it is time for riding the horses now it's so cold here it's literally only going up to like two degrees today so the arena here will not unfreeze it has no rubber in it so I find it really it just doesn't unfreeze all day and we just need it to warm up completely so I'm going to take Kato and Max to the other yard in the trailer because that arena's rubber and sand mix but mostly rubber so dad's harrowed it it should be absolutely perfect to ride on and i'm actually going to have a jump on them so this will be maximus's first jump since his last event at the beginning of october so three and a half months so let's see combined with a cold day probably going to be a little bit fresh so let's get the trailer hit hitched up get them loaded and head on our way
arrived at the other yard. I've just set up a little jump exercise. The arena is still, it's okay, but I'm not gonna be able to jump huge, but I can still have a go at some poles and maybe some little uh, jumps to do a bit of a gymnastic exercise. Max is out and in the stable. I'm gonna ride Kato first. So we're gonna get Kato out, get him tacked up and hop on, hey Kato. So basically, we're just working on getting them listening. I've just come back from uh, skiing. So I haven't ridden for a week. They've been ridden a couple of times. So they may be a little bit fresh. So we're just gonna take it easy and just get back into it basically. guys so I've just finished on Kato uh, unfortunately <clears throat> with this cold weather we're having it's literally been minus six for like the last week I think um, the school was just the top was absolutely fine so it's fine to walk trot and can to do a couple of cavalettis but it was just too hard underneath to jump any bigger I just don't want to risk my horses so Kato just had a nice school some pole work and did a few little small cavalettis so I am now just going to hop on Maximus and I'm going to do the same so yeah like I say it's a shame but horses will always come first and there'll always be another day to jump won't there Max So I'm just on Maximus now. <clears throat> so again, same with Kato. I have been away skiing for a week. This is my first day back. I only got back late last night. So they have been ridden a couple of times while I've been away, but it was also quite tricky with the frozen temperatures. So they're probably feeling a little bit fresh. Kato definitely was. And the way Max just popped over that pole, he definitely is. So it's just gonna be a nice school with some poles. Unfortunately, because we can't then jump because the ground surface is just
crust it's fine on top but the just underneath is a little bit too hard and I want to be careful with my horses especially because Max will probably get quite excited um, so yeah Okay guys, Max and I have just finished our session, haven't we Max? Just brought him out, I'm gonna untack him and then take them back. He was really, really good. He was getting a little bit overexcited because he hasn't jumped in like three and a half months. So I was hoping we were gonna be able to jump, but we could only do trot and canter poles, but he was really, really good, weren't you? And hopefully when the weather warms up a little bit, we can have a proper jump, can't we Max? So we're gonna get him all sorted and get Kato and Max back. Okay guys, so we have just arrived back now with Kato and Max. I've got Kato here, just taking them out the trailer. So I actually am gonna be able to pop them out because I went and had a little explore this morning and we do have a field which I've completely forgotten about that has covered by trees. So even this morning, the ground was actually pretty good. So I'm gonna get these two and Zeb ready and we're gonna pop them out for a couple of hours. Boys all happily out in the field for a couple of hours, finally defrosted and this field is honestly amazing because it's covered by all of these trees so the ground is really really good, um, really lucky so you're all enjoying your time out aren't you? Okay guys, so next up is Errol. We're gonna take him for a little walk, try and a canter. Now what I am probably actually going to do is get some footage 
tomorrow or the following day just because I have someone around I'm on my own now uh, and I have no one to film so but we're going to basically do exactly the same I'm just going to film that bit another day so that you guys can see otherwise literally a I'll have to get on and off hundreds of times which is fine um, but then once I'm up there I can only have the GoPro and I thought it'd be nice for you guys to get a little bit more footage than that so yeah I will get that filmed literally yeah tomorrow or the following day but he's looking very sleepy at the minute, aren't you? You ready to do a bit of work? Good boy. guys so all of mine are ridden um kato zeb and max are out in the fields errol is in his stable i am now going to go home do some more admin i do have an office at the tack room but when it's really cold it's just too cold to work here and i can't afford to put the heating on here um so yeah so i'm gonna head back they're all happy and i will talk to you in a bit I'm um, now home for the rest of the afternoon to crack on with some admin and editing. So this is where my day gets a little bit less interesting for you guys watching. So on days like today, where I'm just at home, I'm not doing any teaching, and I just did the yard, the livery horses in the morning, and I did my horses in the morning, then this is basically a day where I can really crack on and get as much admin and editing as I can. So I will basically be sat here at my computer for the rest of the afternoon really not very interesting just cracking on i've got so much editing to do i've got emails to do organizing the staff rotor so much to do so much to catch up on and i try and on days like today where i don't have to go back out and put any of the horses to bed i like to crack on with that and really get as much done as i possibly can because as i said earlier my days really do vary and probably four afternoons of the week I do bring in both yards so that obviously takes up some more time and I do also do some teaching so when I can I like to crack on with as much as I possibly can so I'm going to crack on I'll be doing this for the next few hours until the evening and then Scott and I will be having our lovely hello fresh meal uh, that we always have and then we will just be chilling out watching some tv and going to bed so Yes, I'm going to crack on with my editing now. Always helps when we've got Bella here, though. You're always here giving me a hand with all my admin and editing duties, aren't you? Hey? Good girl. I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm back down with the horses now. So I always, even if I haven't brought them in, I like to come down, give them a carrot, give them a kiss, check on them. So they are all happily in their stables and we give them a carrot. Do you want a bit of carrot, Maxie? Yummy. Good boy. Is that nice? Good boy. So we've got the three boys in and then like I said, you saw earlier, Errol is out in the field with Squirrel. Yes! <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Zevi, hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life because I haven't done a day in the life for a while. If you did, please let me know. I'm happy to do more day in the life because my days really do vary if you'd like to see what I get up to on different days. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks as always for subscribing, liking. I'm really out of practice. That's probably... Kato? 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed my day in the life. If you did, please let me know. I really enjoyed making it and I can definitely make some other day in the lives if you'd like, because as I said earlier, my days really do vary. So I can definitely make some more. Thank you as always for all your support. Really, really appreciate it. And we will see you for the next one. Thank you.